The stock and reel crime squad is exactly that. It's broken up into two parts, stock and reel crime. So firstly with the stock side of things, um, you're dealing with an asset there that, that you know, members of the community own. Uh, they're worth quite a bit of money, so they go missing from time to time, either um, at the hands of other people or sometimes they just you know, through means of their own they may wander. So it's our job to investigate those and work out whether there is an offence occurring there. So part of the Stock Squad we are focusing on our recent project Gatekeeper. This is it focusing on uh, people that unlawfully go onto someone else's land and trespass and that directly can lead to people shooting on land which can danger people's lives, also can lead to stock being injured, not just livestock but other native animals, which of course is an offence, and opportunistic theft where people may see a vehicle that has keys left in it on the farm because the owner of the vehicle is out mastering and people can take advantage of that. So part of this project is to try and really reduce the theft on rural properties. Um, People can access it through the, the blog site here, which is a bit of an innovation through the police service. It's a little bit more modern and reduce that whole rural theft. You're dealing with uh, livestock here that have, has a mind of its own and four legs. It's um, uh, quite valuable and quite tasty to eat, as I said. So it um, makes them quite desirable as um, something to, to steal and for somebody else to make money off. So that, that affects communities in a large way because you're taking, you're taking the money out of pockets of you know, people within that community um, and that can be detrimental especially in hard times. You know, we have a drought going across most of Queensland at the moment and uh, they've got it hard enough without stock being taken by undesirable people. Ideally we look for people that have a, a rural background. Um, sometimes that's not always the case and it, and it is difficult for us to find people with those skills but ideally someone who's off the land that has a knowledge of stock, um, whether it be any type of stock, it doesn't matter. What we look for is someone that can ride a horse, can ride a motorbike and be able to communicate with your farmer on the land. You know, that's the big key part of it, they've got to be able to talk.